I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. And um, all the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, excuse me, get to it. I am going to be asking something different, a little bit of different stuff today. <clears throat> Just because I'm guided to ask it. Okay, these are questions I haven't really asked in a while. So, all right. So what shadow work should the Divine Feminine be focusing on? What shadow work should the Divine Feminine be focusing on? This is the Fool. So this is a major arcana card. This is the shadow work. You need to work on being free. Free is not being in control, letting go of control issues, going with the flow. Okay, going with the flow is what? A feminine energy. <laughs> so what this is telling me is that a lot of the divine feminines that I'm connecting with have been in their masculine energy, like leaning too much into their masculine so you need to work on practicing being in your feminine. So being open to, to flow, okay? Being open to receive, uh, compassion, you know, all of that. You can look up feminine energy, okay? So this is the shadow work that you need to be doing. Why are you in your masculine? Why are you in your masculine? So why is divine feminine and her masculine energy too much? Because of money, you are focusing on money, okay? Maybe some of you are looking for jobs. Maybe some of you are dealing with a lot of financial issues. Um, this is why. And don't come for me. <laughs> a lot of people get offended. Trust me, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. You know, I'm in the boat with you, okay? Due to inflation and, you know, depending on where you live, I mean, this is hitting everybody, right? I feel like everybody is feeling this, right? Somebody has gone from the Ace of Pentacles to a Page of Pentacles. So, you know, money is the focus, just put it that way, okay? And <clears throat> I'm not blaming spirits, not blaming, we're not, nobody's faulting you, okay? Because you got to have money to survive, unfortunately. But, um, it's okay to focus on money, right? It's okay to try to say, you know what? Um, I need to get this done. But don't forget about yourself. Don't forget about mothering yourself, having self-care, loving yourself, right? Even if you don't have any money to spend on yourself, take a bubble bath, right? Use some candles. Go to the 99 cent store and grab a, a small candle. Whatever you need to do. Right. And if you can't do that, then if you don't have a candle, then do what take a bubble bath and whatever you would feel right or a bath, whatever you would feel comfortable doing. Right. Whatever would make you at peace that costs nothing. I can think of a lot of things that I do that cost nothing that I find peace in doing. <clears throat> OK. Um, that is listening to music in my bed, meditating. Um going for a walk. Uh, I go out, sit in the grass. I live in an apartment complex. My neighbors probably think I'm absolutely batshit crazy, and I do not care. Zero care. <laughs> okay? Zero care. Um, I'm nice to everybody. That's all they, that's all they need to know, <laughs> right? I don't care what people think. All, all they need to know is that I'm nice, <laughs> okay? And um, I'll watch out for them because they're my neighbors. Right. But other than that, they can think what they want to think, <laughs> especially on the new moon and stuff like that. I, I've done a lot of, uh, you know, things to manifest abundance and stuff like that. And I light candles and then I bury the remains of the candles in the back. Yeah, I do. In broad daylight. <laughs> and they look at me. I'll be back there digging a hole, putting my candle remains back there, covering it up. Saying a prayer and then <laughs> going back inside. <laughs> I mean, 
but everybody, you know, they probably think I'm nuts. Who knows? Maybe they don't. Maybe that's just me thinking that, you know, I'm just so used to people thinking that I'm crazy that <laughs> I just assume everybody does. But anyways, yeah, do whatever makes you happy. What makes you laugh, right? What makes you smile? And if I sound a little down, I'm a little tired today. I think my iron is low. Um, so... <clears throat> The struggle with my iron is real. So Spirit is saying you're going to get through this. Okay, with the Six of Swords. You're going to reach Queen of Pentacles status. Just keep going. Okay, so wherever you're headed, whatever you're doing, keep in touch. Keep praying, right? Keep doing whatever it is that you're doing because you're going to reach your goal. You're going to accomplish your goal. I know you're scared that you won't, but you are. Okay, so remember the... Shadow work for today for Divine Feminine is to release control. Try to tap more into that feminine energy of allowing to receive, right? Allowing your higher power to bring stuff in for you, okay? Yeah, because I feel like you trying to push something is creating conflict, Right. Instead of just being allow allowing something to flow. Right. And if you're doing something that you really don't want to do and it's like, God, I really don't want to do this. You don't need to be doing you need to try to look for another job. OK, because that's also creating resistance and conflict. OK, within your spirit. And I know that may sound, you know, trite to some. Right. Because I used to work in corporate. I used to hate my job like I hated working in corporate I, I did I it wasn't fulfilling I mean you're just dealing with angry people all the time like I worked in a in the student loan department for for multiple banks and then I also um, processed health insurance claims for a period of of time and I did quality control and it's just you know it's just a an ugly energetic environment, right? It's so low vibe. People are just, I don't know. It's just not the vibe. <laughs> okay. So I know I've been there, but I had to do it because I had to go to work. Right. And I was in college at the time. So I was busy. Plus I was, I had kids in between going to college full time and working full time. Okay. <laughs> Talk about someone in their masculine energy, okay? I was, I kept myself busy so that I didn't have to sit in my pain. I didn't have to sit with myself. I just stayed busy. And that's a trauma response, right? You know, not having to sit there. You're just constantly busy, busy, busy. And then you feel like you're accomplishing something because you're making money, right? Um, and you guys know I told you I was very materialistic. I had a Louis bag and I mean, I... I'm ashamed of who I was back then, to be honest. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a path that I took, and I feel like, you know, sometimes a lot of people can relate to that person that I was, and then, you know, I relate to the fact that I changed and that I grow away from that. I grow older, you know. I feel like it's also that also is a reflection of your age, because when you're younger, it's really what you're you're kind of focused on money and, and materialism, and <laughs> you get caught up in all that ego stuff, right? But, um, so I understand how it is to need, I mean, I need money, obviously, <laughs> too, just like you guys do, um, but I live a very modest lifestyle, so with that being said, I don't have much bills, uh, 2019, I think I had almost triple the bills I had now, I have now. Yeah, it was, tri I had tr exactly triple the amount of bills I have now. Um, because I was just, I, I was materialistic as hell. And yeah, so I was constantly work, work, work. And, and, and that's when I started my spiritual journey. <laughs> so yeah, it was wild. Um, but remember, I told you guys I lost everything. Like, I lost my home. I lost literally everything. I was left with nothing. Um, but that was my tower, and that was my spiritual awakening. And um, 
I, God needed to take that away from me in order for me to rebuild on something that was more sustainable for who I was becoming. Right. So with that being said, I want you guys to not fear change. OK. And I know you guys are like, well, I don't want to lose my house. And I don't want I didn't want to lose everything either. But I did. I lost my car, my home. Um, I did. And um, it was difficult, but I made it through. And I'm not saying that that's not everybody's story. Right. Not everybody is going to go through that. But <laughs> that was my story and it was one hell of a ride okay I ended up having to live with my brother for a period of time I mean it was embarrassing but at the same time I was like you know what if this is what if this is what God wants for me to do right now then I, I'm accepting it so it actually pushed me I was so stubborn that it took that to push me into my feminine energy <laughs> Yeah, imagine it took that, all of that, to push me into my feminine. And even now I struggle with being too much into my masculine, you know, but you have to work at it every day. So all that jabbering was meant to say, if you're not happy where you're at, start meditating, start connecting to your intuition and asking you know, your higher power and asking your intuition, where am I supposed to be going, right? Where am I, where am I supposed to be going? What am I supposed to be doing? I feel like I want to do something different, but I have no idea what it is. And I saw a meme the other day and it was, it said, um, it showed Tinkerbell signing a contract and it said, every tarot reader everywhere, you will be get gifted <laughs> intuition and prophecy, but we'll have no idea what the hell you're doing in your own life. That could not be so true. That is so true. So you guys, like, I feel like sometimes you guys come to me and you think, oh, she probably has it all figured out. It's so lucky. To, but it, it's not like that. I am literally in the same boat as you because it's difficult for us, just like it is for you to listen to your intuition or to even not just be clouded by emotion because we're clouded by emotion, too. So it clouds our own intuition. Then you have to go back and meditate and clear your energy. I mean, yeah. So we, as readers, are in the same boat. We have the same struggles as you guys. We, yeah, so we're sitting where you are. Um, yeah. So that's what I wanted to say. So if you're not happy where you're at, try to figure out where you're meant to be, right? Where you're headed. All right. So now let's look at divine masculine. Yeah. And this is um, involving money for sure. I feel like there is, yeah, there's a tower. I was going to say that there's a tower involving money right now for the divine feminine. So what is, what should, what shadow work should the divine masculine be focusing on at this time? What shadow work, geez, that really wanted to come out. So I really feel like this is divine feminine, okay? The shadow work that the divine masculine needs to focus on is loving the divine feminine. Clearly, if this is the shadow work that you need to do, your heart is, your heart chakra is closed. And told you, <laughs> you're guarded. Your heart chakra is closed. There's some kind of resentment or bitterness that you have towards the divine feminine. Yep, and there you are. You're not talking to her. Or she's not talking, you're not talking to each other. This is radio silence, Okay. Sorry, my daughter came in here. So this is radio silence. Okay, this is... You guys are not talking to one another. Why is this? And the, the divine masculine could be in their ego. Yep. Yeah? Because of some kind of mental stress, you guys could have had an argument. Could have been about money. This is King of Cups could also have been about someone not opening up and expressing how they feel. 
So Divine Feminine was like, all right, F you. What is Divine Feminine's um, feelings towards the masculine at this time? Both of you love each other, but that he's a player, that he's dealing with someone else. That's what Divine Feminine feels like, that he's being childish, he's being a player, he's in the streets, dealing with other people, or at least one other person, dealing with a karmic, being karmic, being the King of Wands, this is a player, for sure, being a karmic. There's fear here. Divine Feminine Fear. The Conflict. I don't think Divine Feminine wants to argue anymore, right? She doesn't. She wants to heal this and come to a positive place, even if that means losing the Divine Masculine. Yep. Because she's comfortable with just having the spiritual connection. Divine Feminine's like, all right, if we're, we don't be together in the physical, that's fine. I'm, I'm over this. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. If we just want to have a spiritual tie or if we just need to have a spiritual union or a spiritual tie, then that's fine. I don't need to see you in the physical. But I don't feel like Divine Masculine feels that way. Nope. Told you. He wants a new beginning. He wants to move forward. He wants things to change. What does he want to end? What does Divine Masculine want to end? This three of swords, three of pentacles, this two women, one guy. Yeah, because he knows who he loves. He's manifesting a divorce, but again, this is manifesting. There's no action. So, and this is why Divine Feminine is heartbroken and stressed out and depressed because this four of cups, you're not taking any action. Divine Feminine's like, I'm effing done with this. There's no action being taken towards a divorce. We're not even talking. He's guarded. I don't even know how he feels about me. He's probably in the streets effing everybody. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to have a spiritual connection with this person. I, I'm not doing this anymore. That's literally the energy of the Divine Feminine. Yep. And Leo energy is here. Strength. Nine of Cups. She could be connecting to a Leo or she could be in that energy of a Leo. Because she's just disappointed. And she's refusing anything devil any Seven of Swords, any Five of Pentacles. This is being abandoned. This is being sneaky and nasty and vile and low vibe. Divine Feminine is resisting this energy. She's like, I'm not going to be with you if you're going to be an effing, whoa, an effing POS. This is definitely an argument. Why is the masculine, the divine masculine so guarded with the divine feminine? Because he's in a tower moment, and he what he's trying to manifest, he keeps running into blocks. He's running into conflict. He's running into argument, arguing. What is he arguing about? His future. Who is he arguing with? The person he's married to. And this is what creates fear for him. It's the money. So now Divine Feminine is marrying him with money. So now basically what I feel like is Divine Feminine has to end this karmic cycle with money herself in order for the Divine Masculine to reflect this.
Divine Feminine needs to find stability financially, and then he will as well. Yep. Air sign. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Divine Masculine. Is spying. Waiting on this new beginning. He's going to tell you how he feels pretty soon. He's going to reach out pretty soon and try to reconcile. I feel like something's going to bust. So what is going to happen that makes Divine Masculine reach out? I feel like something that he's trying to manifest will occur. What is this Queen of Pentacles going to do? So I feel like what's going to happen, King of Pentacles, is that the person that he's attached to is going to file for divorce or uh, finally agree on an amount. Because I feel like they're going back and forth about maybe this divorce or money or, you know, something like that. And then that's when Divine Masculine is going to reach out when it become when he's single. Yeah, exactly. When he has walked away. Or when she has walked away. That's when he's going to come in. Mm -hmm. And he's going to apologize. And there's going to be a little peace offering here. Right now he needs to work on forgiveness. So when may this occur? Oh. Definitely is a karmic cycle ending. When will this occur? When may this occur? One, two. This is two months, nine. Okay. Because this is two and we have nine. So that definitely look like looks like two months. So in September, this will occur. So where are these people headed? And then I'm going to stop because... Very lightheaded now. Where are these two headed? Forgiving one another. Making a decision finally. Getting your wish fulfillment. High vibe. And avoiding what? Avoiding rejection. So oh, that's good. This is fated to happen. You're at a distance now so that you can love yourself. So you have to be at a distance right now so that the both of you can learn to love yourself. Okay. But you will be coming back together because it's fated. What did I tell you guys yesterday? You can't lose. Can't lose each other or something like that is what I said. Yeah. That's what I'm still seeing here. I have to go eat some iron. <laughs> Divine Masculine wants to say something here. And then I gotta go. What does Divine Masculine want to say to the feminine? You are not part of my plan. I pretend that I don't care. I don't trust you. Wow. I hope I will see you again sometime. What does the feminine have to say to the masculine? I 
I do wish you well. I hid who I really am from you. Leaving you hurt me too. I love you unconditionally. So why is the masculine all pissy with her at this time with the divine feminine? Why is he all pissy saying you're not part of my plan? I mean, you guys don't be alarmed by that because remember I told you he's in his ego. He's mad. He's guarded. Right. That's why. This is the energy he acts like when he's guarded. Because you could have gotten with someone in the spring and this is why he's in his ego. <laughs> Yeah, but in the fall, geez, and his fear is limiting him, but in the fall, he's going to be in a better space energetically, yeah, because he's going to have some growth here, okay, and union is, is going to be here for some of you. All right, so that is what I have.